forecast is for more extreme weather than ever before, U.S. experts say. Droughts will get drier, storms will get stormier, and floods will get deeper and deeper with a warming climate across North America and around the world. U.S. government experts have said in a report billed as the first continental assessment of extreme events. Events that have seemed relatively rare will become much more commonplace, said the latest report from the U.S. Climate Change Science Program, a joint effort of more than a dozen government agencies. Heat waves and very heavy downpours are very likely to further increase in frequency and intensity, the report says. Large areas or substantial areas of North America are likely to have much more frequent droughts of even greater severity. Hurricane wind speeds, higher rainfall intensity and storm surge levels are very likely to increase. The strongest cold season storms are likely to become even more frequent with stronger more damaging winds and more extreme wave heights with increasing numbers of tornadoes and extreme weather events. There has been an increase in the frequency of heavy downpours especially over the northern states, and these are likely to continue in the future," said Thomas Carl, director of the National Climatic Data Center. For example, Carl said, before the end of the century, rainfall amounts expected to occur every 20 years could be taking place at least every five years, if not more, or sooner. Such an increase can lead to the type of events that we are seeing in the Midwest. The report itself noted that intense precipitation, the heaviest 1% of daily precipitation totals in the continental U.S., increased by at least 20% over the past century why total precipitation has increased by at least 7%. More shifting dangers. Th but the report also cautioned that preparing for weather that has been relatively common can leave people vulnerable as extreme events occur more and more and more. Moderate flood control measures on a river can stimulate development in a now supposedly safe floodplain, only to see those new structures damaged or destroyed when a very large flood occurs, the report said. At the same time heavy rains increase, there'll be many more droughts, especially in the southwest, Carl said, and that's very bad news, because they're already bad. Mean to tell me it's going to get worse? There's something wrong with this picture. Anyway, when it rains, it rains harder, and when it's not raining, it's warmer. There's more evaporation, and droughts can last longer and be much more severe, he explained. The southwestern drought that began in 1999 is beginning to rival some of the greatest droughts on record including those of the 1930s and 1950s, he added. A senior scientist at the National Center for Atmospheric Research also said there has been a trend toward increasing power in hurricanes since the 1970s in the Atlantic and Western Pacific, a change that can be linked to rising sea surface temperatures. There is a statistical connection between rising sea surface temperatures 
and increased hurricane activity. Many hotter days and much more often. More easily attributed to human impact through release of greenhouse gases is an overall increase in temperatures, he said. It's not getting as cold at night as it did in earlier decades and there are fewer nights with frost. A trend expected to continue into the foreseeable future. A day so hot that it is experienced only once every 20 years would occur every three years or even more by the middle of the century. Under the mid-range mid projections of climate models the report said researchers can use computer models of climate to separate out cause and effect of this warming, he explained, looking at the effect of things like changes in solar radiation or volcanic eruptions. And the result is to attribute climate warming to the burning of fossil fuels. The earth is sick, and yes, it is likened to a living being. There are celestial beings and there are terrestrial beings. There's one kind of beings like fish in the sea and animals on the land. There are all kinds of beings. Anyway, the earth is very sick and getting sick, sicker real fast. And it's calling out for God. It is well established through formal attribution studies but the global warming of just the past 50 years is due primarily mostly to human induced increases in heat tra trapping gases the burning of fossil fuels the report itself states other future projections cited in the report include sea ice extent in the Arctic Ocean is expected con to continue to decrease and may even disappear in summer in the next few coming decades. And that's bad. Precipitation on average is likely to be less frequent but more intense. More floods. Droughts will likely be more frequent and much more severe in some areas. Hurricanes will likely spawn increased precipitation and fiercer wind or higher winds. The strongest cold season Atlantic and Pacific storms are likely to create stronger winds and higher extreme wave heights. This is more bad news. And these are more signs of the end times, last days, transition days, whatever you want to call it. And it is the reason or the reasons for God. Jesus Christ and all the heavenly beings the beings of light, the angels to come back very soon to help humankind or mankind save the planet and planet earth, yes, is a living being we're going to need some help on this one and these are more signs and there are many